Peatlands are wetland ecosystems and they cover 3% of the Earth's land surface, but they contain twice as much carbon as forests. Peat is formed from plants that have partially decomposed over a long period of time in an environment rich in moisture, and it plays a key role in preventing global warming. But due to development and industrialization, the world's peatlands are degraded, which leads to carbon in the soil being released into the atmosphere, contributing to global warming. A Japanese international beverage company with distilleries in Scotland has begun conservation efforts. In fact, peatlands have a deep connection with whiskey production. Essential to whiskey making are high quality water and peat which is used to impart the characteristic smoky flavor. We're in this for the long run, and we want to have a habitat and, and a natural environment that can support us for another millennia. Protecting and restoring peatlands is crucial for climate change, locally, but also globally. The Ardmore Distillery, operated by the Japanese company, is located in Aberdeenshire, Scotland. In 2021, the whisky producers launched the Peatland Water Sanctuary Initiative to support the conservation and restoration of peatlands. Suntory have a well-established programme for natural water sanctuaries in Japan, and some of their water specialists, that was uh, Dr Takeshi Yamada and Taro Asada, uh, when Asada-san and Yamada-san came to Scotland in 2018, they came and it became quite apparent that uh, the water quality here will be highly dependent upon peatland and potentially restoring peatlands that have been degraded through the, uh, the, the growing of trees, through the forestry development through the 1950s and 60s. Asada from the Suntory Group in Japan led the Peatland Water Sanctuary Project. During the survey, it was found that plants typically distributed in wetlands were growing in a reforested area. Upon examining a 19th century map, it was discovered that the site was originally peatland. まあ、の地球温暖化に、あの、抑制という観点から、あの、データンチというのは炭素を与える機能もありますし、ま、生物多様、あの、多様性の面からポジティブな面もありますし、ま、そういった様々な観点から、ま、この場所を復元して、データン
This is in a relatively dry piece of swag and it holds 20 times its dry weight of water. Suntory began a partnership with the James Hutton Institute and Forestry and Land Scotland in 2021. They then expanded the project around the country. They use water retention techniques such as ditch blocking, bunding and slope reprofiling. These methods help recreate the conditions necessary for sphagnum growth and peat formation. Restoration took place in stages. The first stage was to identify degraded sections of peatlands. These are areas where water drains too fast and peat is exposed to the air. Then buns, which are low banks of compacted peat, are created across the slopes. These buns slow the flow of water, letting it pool and re-wet the land. And in some wet areas, sphagnum moss is introduced. Blocking all those ditches across the whole of the site and creating what we call buns with peat. We use the peat to create buns, which are sort of raised dams over a large area. And that, that holds the water back on site and allows the peat forming processes to actually restart rather than degrading and, and putting carbon into the atmosphere. With time and care, water returns, the moss spreads and absorbs carbon as it grows, and the wet conditions means the carbon in the existing peat stays locked in the ground where it belongs. The UK Climate Change Committee recommends restoring 55 to 70% of UK peatland by 2050, which could deliver as much as $65 billion of climate benefits. In the bog, this is the place where that carbon should be held, not in the, going out into the atmosphere in here. So planting trees on peatlands has now stopped, which is good because that, that was just releasing more, more carbon. And that, that's where we have to get the balance. And that's what we're trying to do in this valley is to get where the trees will grow well, keep the trees. And that will happen up there in certain places where it's peatlands, have peatlands. Damaged peatlands are a problem all over the world. They release a lot of greenhouse gases, nearly two million tonnes of carbon dioxide each year. Some countries are waking up to the importance of restoring peatlands. The Congo Basin is the largest tropical peatland in the world, storing billions of tonnes of carbon, making it one of the planet's most critical carbon sinks. Recognising the importance JICA, the Japan International Cooperation Agency, is supporting the restoration and sustainable management of these tropical peatlands. Back in Scotland, the Peatland Water Sanctuary Project is backed by an investment of over 4 million US dollars. The aim is to restore 1,300 hectares of peatland by 2030 but it is an investment that is paying off as the wildlife is also returning to restored peatlands. The Peatland Water Sanctuary Project is now being rolled out over five other sites across Scotland. The main sort of evidence of the wildlife changing is not necessarily on the range of species that you get, it's actually the sheer numbers. So for, the, for example, frogs, toads, damselflies, lizards, um, black-headed gulls on some sites where we've got quite large areas of water, they all are finding the conditions more suitable for them. There's a food source or there may be a nesting, nesting areas for them, which actually wasn't there before because it was actually too dry. So that's the, the change that we're actually starting to see very quickly as well. This initiative shows that even the oldest traditions such as whiskey production can adapt and thrive in harmony with nature, while also maintaining a business that is sustainable for the future.